This is a Ledger Nano S. It is one of the hardware wallets that you will use for your multi-sig wallet. The first step to setting up your Ledger Nano S is to unbox it. In this box, you'll see a device, you'll see a cord, and you'll see a folder. Let's take all those outside of the box. Next, we're going to turn on your Ledger Nano S by plugging the cord into the device as well as into the computer. Your device should say, Welcome to Ledger Nano S. Your next step is to click the right button four times. Next, you're going to click both buttons to set it up as a new device, and then you're going to choose a pin number by clicking both buttons. Here, you're going to click the right or left button in order to scroll up and down the number scale until you see the number you want to set as your pin. Once you land on that number, you're going to click both buttons to lock it in. You'll see that the cursor moves to the next spot. Scroll until you find the next number for your pin. Then you're going to click both buttons. Once you've entered your whole pin, you're going to click both buttons on the check mark to lock it in. Your next step is to confirm your pin by clicking both buttons. Enter the pin that you just set again. And click both buttons to lock it in. We recommend setting the same pin across all your hardware wallet devices and make sure that the pin is four to eight digits long and that there are no zeros in it because the Trezor one doesn't have a zero on its number pad in order to enter the pin. Your next step is to write down your recovery phrase. When you click the right button, you'll see that the first word of your seed phrase appears. What you wanna do is grab the white folder that was in the Ledger Nano S box. and you want to take out one of the recovery sheets in the folder. Next, you're going to write down the first word on your recovery sheet. Notice that the numbers go from 1 through 24. Make sure that you write down the words in numerical order and that they are legible. Once you've written your 24th word, click the right button and you're going to click both buttons to confirm your recovery phrase. Next, you'll see confirm word number one and you want to see if it matches the word that you wrote down. If it doesn't match, you want to click the right or left button until you find the word that it matches. Once you find the matching word, you're going to click both buttons to confirm it. And you want to keep doing this for all 24 words. Your recovery phrase has now been set. Click the right button until you get to the screen asking you to press both buttons to continue. And you'll see that it's processing. From here, we need to download Ledger Live and finish the setup using the application. Once you are on the Ledger website, Scroll down to download the Ledger Live application and install it into your computer. Next, you want to open it up. You may be prompted to approve opening an application downloaded from the internet. Click open to approve the installation. Next, we want to click get started. You want to confirm the terms of use to enter the Ledger application, then go ahead and choose your device. Then scroll down to already have a recovery phrase and you're going to click connect your device. Click check my nano, then click continue. And then you're going to go to the manager on the bottom left of the screen. And then you're going to check to see if you need to update your firmware. If so, click update firmware. Click I have my recovery phrase and then continue. All right, next you want to verify that you've downloaded the correct firmware. You're going to click the right button 
and check the version number, then match the verifier you see on the computer screen with what you see on the device. Once you've confirmed that they match, you're going to click both buttons to perform the update. Then you'll enter your pin one more time. Then you're going to enter your pin again to unlock your device after the firmware update. Next, go to your computer and click Install Apps and then allow Ledger Manager on your device one more time by clicking both buttons. Then go to Ledger Live and go down to the Bitcoin app under Apps Catalog and click Install. Once the Bitcoin application has been installed on your device, you'll want to quit Ledger Live. Your Ledger Nano S has now been fully set up. It is now ready to be connected to the Casa app on your phone. You can disconnect the device and set it off to the side.